okay, everybody can relax. We won't have an out of shape Batman. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia and we got a little update on the Batman. But first we wanted to remind everybody, if you're looking for your place for all your comic book news, rumors, and reviews, all while looking for the best and positive in those characters we love, make sure you hit that like button and press subscribe. Well, you remember a couple of weeks ago we had a little bit of a story about Robert Pattinson and how he mentioned he really wasn't doing a lot of working out for the upcoming Batman role. The reaction from most fans was pretty visceral. People were kind of upset that he might not be taking the role too seriously. But recently, Pattinson did a little bit of an interview with a British magazine called Four Man Healthy and he kind of laid out what he was doing for his Batman workout. Now, it turns out he is actually working out, but it might not be as heavy as you think. They've got him on a restricted diet and leaning him out with some running and doing some basic gym work, including barbell work for his chest and arms. Now, this does mean he's not going to be huge like Ben Affleck was, but I don't think he really should have a problem with this. Whatever Matt Reeves has envisioned for this version of the Batman, they cast Pattinson for that role, and they knew then he's not a big guy. This is clearly an early version of Batman and is likely to be really cerebral and not as physical as past versions of the character. Either way, hopefully this quashes some of those feelings that he wasn't taking the role seriously and not even willing to work out for it. I know a lot of people felt that way and it kind of rubbed even me a little bit the wrong way. He's a pretty serious actor and everything else he does he super delivers in. So now during that same interview he even talked a little bit about why he took on the role of the Batman and it's kind of interesting. He said, in every project I've taken on, I've come into it wanting to learn and achieve new things. That's usually in the embodiment of a character and someone who has a different personality to me. But taking on a full physical transformation as well feels more exciting. Now what's interesting is he pointed to some other superhero actors who gave him the inspiration to actually take on this role. And it was kind of a nice nod. He said, any actor will go through periods where they hesitate and question whether they can live up to a character in a script or the expectations that go with it. You look at the true warriors of the superhero genre. Hemsworth, The Rock, Downey Jr., Evans, and wonder if you're putting yourself in the wrong place. And yet, having spoken to a few, I know everyone is nervous when the opportunity comes about. So, once again, a sign that he's taking this role pretty seriously. And you have to love the nods to all the other actors. So, does this make you feel a little bit better about Robert Pattinson taking this role as seriously as he should? Although, quite honestly, I expected a more robust workout routine. I am glad to see he's putting in some effort there. But the nods of the other actors make me feel pretty good. It just kind of shows a respect for people who have been very successful in those roles and shows him setting a high bar for his version. Meaning, he's just not there collecting the paycheck. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.